I used to work as a prospector near Otistal in South Africa, and there we uncovered something strange, something that's been called an out-of-place artifact, a mystery that's almost never spoken about. We were digging in three billion-year-old mineral deposits. When my crew and I found these perfect metallic spheres, they were smooth, grooved, and almost impossible to explain. I saw dozens, maybe even hundreds of them. They looked like tiny balsam just a few millimeters across, others the size of marbles. And each one had these concentric rings or grooves carved into them. Now, folks online call things like this out-of-place artifacts, the relics of some long-gone beings. But mainstream geologists say they're just natural concretions formed by volcanic activity. And sure, that's probably true. But why do the local miners swear they rotate if left alone? And why haven't we found these perfect spheres anywhere else? I don't know. Maybe it's just one of those African mysteries, like the Lion Man of the Kalahari, or the giant footprints in the Kalahari Desert that are almost never mentioned. But here's what I do know. These spheres were not boring. They were perfectly round. They were incredibly hard. And over the eons, they'd somehow managed to keep their shape. Even though the rocks around them had eroded away, and the grooves, well, they were a total mystery. I've seen similar grooves in other places, like on the rim of an ancient meteorite crater in Canada, but no one's ever come up with a good explanation for how these grooves could have formed. And that's just one of the many reasons that I love geology. There's always something new to discover. Something that will make you wonder, are there ancient astronauts visiting our world millions of years ago? Well, maybe. Or maybe it's just a rock. But you know what? It's not a boring rock. It's an exciting mystery. And that's what makes geology so much more than just a science. It's an adventure. Thanks for watching.